in your pure seeing, pure awareness. Never ever get into any shape any name, any form, any identity. Be firm in your seeing, so firm that the Maya cannot elude you again. Remember the most important help. in self-realization and self-abidance is you only. This word of illusion, only thing you can trust in this waking dream is yourself. It is not a surprise that so many religions also part of the same illusion, giving you concepts and beliefs not for freedom but for bondage. You can't say they are false. They are false for awareness, but they are true for the man or a woman who is in illusion. If you follow those laws, You will turn out to be a good person, but not free. You have to be very alert to be free, very alive to be free. Whatever you see from your eyes, feel, hear, touch, smell, everything is part of the same illusion. Even this talk is happening in that illusion. You are listening in that illusion. Illusion of forms, beings, it's all matter. 
all changing transient even to give this talk i have to borrow all the apparatus from illusion only body speech but still i am trying hard to tell you the truth it is very hard hard because there is no one in this illusion who can show you who can guide you back yes some scriptures can guide you but they are maps if you keep reading the map you cannot be free you have to follow the guidance you can follow the guidance alone or you can follow the guidance with someone who knows the way out but he will know the way out <clears throat> the way he has <clears throat> traveled back while traveling back he might have seen the other ways or tried the other ways so he can have some idea of some other ways also but yes he can guide you in the way he has traveled back if you can't find a teacher or a guide then only help is these scriptures but here the problem is the person who is reading the scriptures is in deep illusion using the ego mind even on reading sincerely these scriptures clarity is not there he has made all these teachings as in his own way sometimes just appreciating the teachings saying a devotional bhajan and keeping them aside showing an incense stick onto the picture of author of these scriptures and the job is done it's not that easy you have to take the hard work it is not a cake walk because you're completely submerged in maya illusion in all directions to come out of it you have to take the bold step that bold step is keeping quiet you can keep shouting in this illusion no one will listen to you not even your own self the only way to freedom is to close this chapter to close this chapter you have to kill something killing of the body 
is not a solution. In spite of killing of the body, that stays, that is alive, which will keep you dreaming for next millions of years. You have to break the projector which is projecting this illusion on the screen of awareness. And you have to destroy it completely so there are no more images left. And this source, this projector is ego is this middle man who is dreaming, who thinks he is too smart. He knows how to live in this world and now he knows also spirituality. He is religious, he is transcending. There are more chances even on the spiritual path that the one who has to go has taken as a role of a spiritual seeker. Answer to all these problems is ego side. Finish this person, kill this ego. No one will do it for you. All the activities of the world, all the people in this world can hurt your ego, but they can't kill it. Others whom you call friends boost your ego. They make it bigger and bigger like a giant. They can't kill it. Enemies help you a bit, but then you don't like them. They do a good job for you. They are the messengers of God but you don't like them. But they don't finish the job. Who can finish the job? Either you or the teacher. If teacher is too compassionate, he will do it. It needs extreme compassion. If the teacher is a worldly person, worldly person in a sense, not a true teacher, But in worldly manners, he does not want to insult you, insult your ego, wants to keep the decorum of the place, of society. He will indirectly say things. So you don't feel bad. Feeling bad is for ego. So who can help you? Even teachers are too polite. Only you can do this job. Pick up the sword of wisdom and finish 
you see God. If you keep searching and searching and searching with ego, at the end you will be a big failure. You can achieve anything in this dream world, anything, but to know yourself, this achiever has to go. Doer has to go, form has to go. An interesting thing is form has to go while living in this body. Ego has to go. There is no other way. Now all paths are leading towards finishing the ego. You choose the one which works for you. How to finish this ego? There is another word of caution that so many spiritual and religious paths actually keep your ego. They boost your ego. Beware of them. Then second group is keep your ego at a low level. but they don't destroy it. You feel bliss, you feel good, but you are still in illusion. And then the third category is, which finishes your ego. Completely, not a trace is left, even if you want that ego back, you cannot get. Then you are free. Then no one can touch you in this world. Bhagwan says, Mano Nasha, ego side. I am not asking you to go to one path or that path or this path. I am only asking you to take a method to finish this ego. And finish this ego while living in this body. After death of the body, I don't know what you can do or not. But yes, you can finish this ego living in this body. That I know. To go beyond this waking dream. To be eternally free. Actually, nobody knows what that freedom is. Nobody can understand. People don't know about freedom. Everyone is in this cage of Maya. It gives you all what you desire from your sense organs. 
and it makes you a slave when we are slave of our sense organs we are no different than from a drug addict look around you everyone is addicted to something or the other wealth name fame food whatever it could be get addicted to know yourself remember on this path you are alone who are all in your bus of discovery teacher some books which you have to choose carefully which shows the right path to finish off ego faith in the absolute and keep going on this journey till the job is done don't look back the problem is that to get out of this maya this illusion everything around us is in its trap you also have some stuff from this maya body mind complex we are part of it all matter is part of it just saying all this is projection of self is not going to make you free this statement is useless who can say that only the one who is free if you say it you are not free what is the best method direct simple profound with surety which anyone can practice religious or atheist what is that keep quiet summa yeru take that as your mantra this will definitely take you there whatever comes your way you keep quiet no judgment no criticizing no likes no dislikes staying in your profound awareness 
pure seeing without any judgment actions uninvolved disinterested action Keep quiet. Maya can trap everything, but it cannot trap silence. to reach in our silence you have to finish your mind mano nasha you have to finish your ego and best weapon is silence keep quiet don't depend on your mind don't be its slave mind cannot give you anything except if you are addicted to your senses mind cannot give you freedom when you don't touch mind you keep quiet self reveals itself to you What do you do after knowing the self? You were not doing anything before also. But now you know there is no doer for the body. before this realization we all are seeds covered in this illusion for this seed to germinate you have to have faith a teacher 
and go on this path until it germinates, give rise to beautiful fragrance, perfume of love. Every human being is a seed. God has thrown these seeds and is looking, watching how many germinate. Unfolding is happening or not. Don't look towards people around you. They will mislead you. You can fall into the trap again. See what no one can see. Know what no one can know. Be what you also don't know. Don't worry about research, evidence, science behind realization. It's all part of illusion only. You can be the free being and you are your own evidence. You don't need support from anyone in this world. For your own seeing. If everyone is sleeping around you, you become the one awake. Even your presence can help others. You have slept for too long. Whatever is your earning, whatever empire you have built, name and fame, they are useless on this path. That's all part of this illusion only. To be free, keep quiet. Best tool to fight this illusion
Maya can only affect what is coming out of Maya. Body mind complex. And yes, it is fine. You don't own body mind. You're only using it. It is part of this world and will dissolve in this world. You are not part of this world. You are not part of this dream. So you keep quiet. Don't get involved in anything. Be serious in your sadhana, in your practice. Keep quiet. Keep quiet is a practice and then your natural state of complete freedom. No other practice needed, nothing else to do. Keep quiet, it will dissolve your ego, it will finish your mind. It is a fire, fire of knowledge, it will burn away everything what you are not. It will burn away whatever is obstacle, what is it, whatever is obstructing your pure seeing. Allow it to happen. Surrender to it. Love your own company, company of silence. This is the vehicle which will take you beyond.
Don't try to break this silence deliberately. There are enough reasons to break the silence. When we interact with people, when we argue, when we have likes and dislikes, when we are pleasing our sense organs. See the people around you. Everyone is breaking the silence. They are all on their phone, paying attention on different groups, listening to music. They are all helping in destruction of silence. Their own silence. Everyone is receding from their silence. Keeping quiet is the first step and the last step to freedom. Eternal freedom is a very, very serious matter for everyone. But who listens?
Keep quiet till the end. Keep quiet. Abide in your silence, respect your silence, nurture your silence, love your silence. Make silence your vehicle to take you home. Help this silence by paying attention to it, not to any thought. Don't help in production of more thoughts. Don't judge anyone. Accept things as they are. Don't have likes and dislikes. Especially strong ones. Don't be critical. Stay as uninvolved. 
stay as disinterested. I have no expectations from anyone of any sort. If someone is in crisis, try to help them out. So keep quiet and pay attention to pure awareness. Your silence. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti.